Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is MacGyver Backpacking. Not my typical setting for a video. I do have a margarita though. I figured, even though it's not a trail margarita, it's still a margarita, so why not enjoy this with you guys? But that's not what we're here. We're not here to talk about margaritas. Although we could probably do a whole video on excellent margaritas, how to make them, what's the best tequila to put in them, What's the best trail margarita? But that's not what we're here to talk about. We are here to talk today about a couple of pieces of gear. And so uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about two pieces of gear from the same company. And it is a company that I've done one review on one of their quilts. I've, I've shown and done reviews on hammocks back when they were making hammocks. And they've been involved in uh, giveaway gear that I've done and almost every one of the trip videos that I go on you actually see some of their stuff and so the company that I'm talking about is Cedar Ridge Outdoors and so Cedar Ridge has been around for a few years now and they've they've really come onto the scene and blossomed and they started out kind of doing a little bit of everything but found that their niche was quilts and so that's what they've kind of stuck with and that's where they've grown and they've gotten a really good reputation across the cottage industry across the hammocking industry and backpacking community to uh, to the people that are out there actually using the equipment uh, you know they bring a lot of value for what they provide and it's one of those cases of under promising and over delivering which is always a great thing when you're talking about the uh, the backpacking gear that you're getting so let's jump into this let's go all right, so I've got one of the pieces of gear that I'm gonna be talking about right here, and it's this quilt. So, cool thing about Cedar Ridge, if you go onto their website, and, and this is something that I think a lot of people out there will appreciate and like. Uh, first thing is if you click on their quilts, it there's a banner right there that says, our quilts are comfort rated. So, what they're getting at is there is a difference between a comfort rating and a survival rating. And the, the mainstream quilt and sleeping bag manufacturers out there use a survival rating. So if it says zero degree, good luck getting below 20 degrees with it, honestly. Usually there's a at least a 10 degree bump there. But with these quilts, with a lot of the cottage industry has gone to a comfort rating system because people are buying them, they see 20 degrees and they think they can take it to 20 degrees. Well, you can, you can take it to 20 degrees and you'll survive a night, but you're not gonna be comfortable, you're not gonna be warm. Whereas these are comfort rated to the point where they're probably a little bit conservative on the comfort rating and they're probably rated for someone that sleeps cold. So a 20 degree for some people will probably get you down well below 20 degrees. Uh, and I have had that actually be the case with several of the quilts that I've used, including a quilt that I used from Cedar Ridge. So I borrowed one of Rain Man's quilts when I went out and did the, uh, the AT section through the whites. And I used his under quilt that was not rated for what we were in and it, it performed flawlessly. Uh, so just know that, know that you can rest assured that if you're buying a 20 degree, it's quite likely that that's going to get you all the way down to 20 degrees, if not lower. This one right here is not a 20 degree, this is a 30 degree. And you guys may see it sitting here and think, wow, that's pretty plain for you, Mark. That's not really uh, you know, I like to do the Moroccan blues and some of the yellows and some other stuff. So this one's kind of muted for me, but there's a reason. And this one was done just for me. What is one thing that I like well it's coffee and so what this is uh, if you take a look it's burlap bag on the outside so it's a burlap print design on the outside and a coffee bean design on the inside so this is like a uh, a big sack of beans which is pretty damn cool so yeah I've got my coffee beans here uh, but this is just a full featured Quilt. This is a top quilt. This is a LeCant. Now I got it right this time, LeCant. So please don't don't flame me like you did the first time I did a review of their LeCant and called it LeCante. Hey, I'm not from that area. I didn't know that the mountain was pronounced LeCant. I do now. So thank you to everyone who corrected me. 
So this is the quilt, uh, super lightweight. It's got 15D inner and outer and 30 degree weighs in at just over 15 ounces. Um, great quilt, it's got the down tech, it's 850 fill power, so you could upgrade and go a little bit lighter on it, but for a 30 degree at 15 ounces, that is pretty good. And like I said before, man, they're comfort rated, so you're gonna be able to take it there. It has double snaps, cam snaps at the top to go around the neck with a cinch, so you can cinch it down. The uh, foot box is all cam snaps all the way down through, so if you wanted to open it up and just kind of drape it over you, you know, you just go ahead and undo them all, undo the cinch cords at the end, flatten it out, and now you've got a big blanket that you can just kind of lay over yourself. Let me undo the, the neck snaps. There you go. Now you've got a big blanket you can just lay over yourself. And now I'm just laying in a, a sea of coffee beans. <laughs> but, I mean, if you were to look at this, the stitching on here, all of the seams, everything on this thing is absolutely flawless. They have a combination of vertical and horizontal baffles. And so you really can work to, uh, to get the, the down migrated exactly how you want it to keep yourself warm, to keep the down exactly where you need it. Um, great product. Let's take a look at the other piece that I've got. All right, so this next piece of gear is a pretty special piece of gear, and it is an underquilt. So why is this underquilt different than any other? Well, it's all about the materials that this one is made out of. You've got a green interior, a gray exterior, and it comes with both a primary and secondary suspension. However, that's something that we're gonna be playing with because due to the weight of this, it may not need both of them. Now, like I said, all of, I'm pretty sure almost all, if not all, of Rain Man's quilts are Cedar Ridge quilts, and I've used some of them, I've borrowed them, and they've all been awesome. They've all kept me warm well below what they're, they're actually rated for. This one, I'm hoping, is no different. Uh, this one's 850 fill power again, so not absolutely the lightest you could go. I mean, if you really wanted to get crazy, you'd get a thousand. You can go a thousand fill power on this thing, and you actually, I think Rain Man just did. I think Rain Man just got this same thing in a thousand fill power. I'm gonna have to ask him. Man, if he did, he's always stealing my thunder. I always think I'm getting the lightest stuff, and then, oh no. Rain Man or Derek Greenfield or someone else has the lighter stuff. Thanks guys. Well, anyway, this thing, so this is a 40 degree, three quarter length under quilt. Uh, this is mainly for shoulder season into the, the warmer months. 11 ounces. This thing weighs 11 ounces and we think we can get it a little bit lower by taking off the secondary suspension, just running a primary suspension. We think that it's gonna be enough to do that. Um, it is a 70 inner and a 70 outer material. It's the Argon 49 from Dutchware Gear that it's made out of. And so that, that's a 70 fabric. So it's a super, super, um, it, it feels very soft, very silky. Um, but on an underquilt, it may be a little bit risky depending on where you hang to go with a 7D. But then again, I think that the new Ghost Whispers, which are also a thousand fill power, I believe that they went with like a 7D as well. And so far I haven't heard of too many people tearing them. I guess we'll see, time will tell. But again, uh, just looking at the stitching, looking at the way this thing's put together, absolutely impeccable. It's just, I mean, the, the quality is, is absolutely there on all of their products. Just the consistency, that's, that's what, that's what you've come to expect from the Cedar Ridge stuff is just consistency. It is by far cheaper than, than a lot of them out there. So bang for the buck, you're getting a great, great deal. And they're willing to do really cool custom stuff like a, uh, a burlap bag sack stuffed with uh, coffee beans for you. But guys, this is a first look at this stuff. If you guys are in the market for quilts, there are a lot of great companies out there. All of the cottage industry companies are great, but um, 
you know, you guys see me out with Rayman all the time, and he absolutely swears by his Cedar Ridge. All of his Cedar Ridge quilts have done him well. The ones I've borrowed have done well. The ones I've used have done well. And hey, I'm excited to actually have a set of my own to now start using and tell you more about and show you when I'm out on trips. Because really, it's been a long time coming and I should have had these a lot sooner. So now we're gonna do this and we're gonna get out there and I'm gonna show you these. Hopefully I get out on a trip soon. I've got a business trip coming up uh, in two days and then I'm going to Cancun for a wedding. But after that, it's still hot, but things should start. Why is that thing? Hey, sweetie. All right, I don't even know where I was. Phone rang. I just spent like an hour on the phone with my wife. She's been out of town. She and the kids are out of town uh, visiting my, my mom and, and my family out in Virginia. And so, uh, I've been here just kind of by myself. Cat, dogs. But bottom line, awesome, awesome set of quilts. I will get these out and I will do some testing with this one with just the, the primary and not the secondary to see whether or not it will work if it is light enough. And I've got to tell you, just based on me feeling this, it is light enough. Uh, three quarter for me being five eight comes, really covers everything that I need. Uh, you know, shoulders down to feet. Look at this. So fits underneath me, shoulders to feet, I'm good. My feet may hang off a little bit. I'll have a pillow behind my head. So for me, a three quarter, this is a generous three quarter and works really well for my height, my size. All right, guys, appreciate you guys checking this out. If you haven't done so before, I appreciate it if you would go down and hit that subscribe button. Costs you absolutely nothing, helps us out tremendously. Keeps me able to do this kind of stuff. Keeps me able to go out and get the gear to do the reviews and talk with you guys about. There's a lot of cool stuff I wanna do. And man, I can't wait to get out and do some more trips. I need to get out. I really, really need to get out. All right guys, thanks for coming along. Thanks for checking this out. If you guys need any more, any more information about these quilts or any of the other stuff that Cedar Ridge has, down in the description block, there will be a link that you can click and you get to go straight to their website and check them out. It's Cedar Ridge Gear, Cedar Ridge Outdoors, but cedarridgegear.com. And uh, like I said, it'll be down in the link in the description box. I will see you guys down the trail. Thanks.